Hi guys, Daz here with another episode of my showcase series. This time it is episode 53, and tonight I will be showcasing the Image Comics key issue comic books in my personal collection, part two. Yeah, last time round I showed off a ton, but I've got so many key issues from Image Comics, I have to split it up. Now, if you follow my community page, you will see that I sometimes run polls on there where you can vote which showcase was next. And I had 24 people vote some time ago whether it would be small publishers or Image Comics. And 67% of the votes went to Image Comics. So here we are, guys. I've got a ton of good books here. A lot of option books, a lot of high-value books, some signed books, some flying-under-the-radar books, and even a sketch that comes from my daughter. So let's get into the books, guys. I left you on L's last time. We've been working through alphabetically. The last book I showed you was Little Bird. This time around, we're gonna start with The Magic Order. This is the regular cover. Now, this is pretty much an adult Harry Potter story, to say the least, very adult. And this was gonna be a TV show, an animated TV show, if I'm not mistaken, on Netflix. It comes from Mark Millar. And uh, I'm not sure if that is still the case, but it was a good read. I paid £5.15 for this, which is a bit more than I wanted to pay. So I picked this up online for Forbidden Planet. But when it comes to option books, I don't mind paying a little bit extra because you never know what will happen. That was the regular cover. Like I said, this is the variant, which I picked up for just 50p. And this was, comes from one of my favourite artists, Adam Hughes. Um, down to meet him next year in Portsmouth. I was meant to meet him two years ago. Or last year, sorry. So it'll be a two-year wait with what's going on in the world. But uh, if you follow my haul videos, you'll have seen I've just picked up a ton of great Catwoman issues. Just sold one, actually, for quite a lot of money. And they come from Adam Hughes, of course. Okay, now we've got some more recently optioned books. And this is The Marked, issue number one. Now... The premise is, the marked are a young social influence group with tattoos that are actually magical glyphs, mostly used for pleasure seeking until a new sorceress with a dangerous form of magic emerges. Now this was optioned in 2019 apparently, October time, when creator Brian Haberlin posted on his Facebook page that a TV deal is confirmed. I paid £3.80 for this on eBay, and this is the regular Brian Haberlin and Gerard Van cover. To go with that one, I picked up the wraparound variant cover from Brian Haberlin. Three fifty for that one in Gloucester, and my local LCS, Planet All Stars. And next, we got a huge monster of a book, and uh, this one actually came when I picked, purchased some other books at a local con here in Cheltenham. And the, the seller, who I know pretty well, a guy, nice guy from Wales, said I could have this one for free. Oh, I wasn't turning it away, that's for sure. It's a biggie. This is monstrous issue number one. Yeah, this book can go for well in excess of £50. And uh, in October of 2019, it was announced to be in development for HBO Max with writer, producer Janet Lynn. But later, uh, the exclusive article was retracted for reasons unknown. So whether we're still getting monstrous, I'm not sure. Even still, to get this one for free, a valuable book. And uh, this is the first appearance of the main character, Meika. I must admit, I haven't read this one yet. Great pickup that was, I thought. Like I say, I've seen that go for over 100 quid. Up next is another book that was meant to be optioned. This is Nailbiter, issue number one. Pretty scarce book. This one, this is the first printing. And the premise of this one is a detective searches for his missing colleague and an answer to why the town of Buckaroo, Oregon, has produced 16 serial colours. Now, this was optioned by Skybound Galactic. Um, it was a joint venture with Sony in October of 2018. I paid £7.99 for this on eBay. This was done to be a TV show, I believe. Not a bad read, and very gory. Another optioned book, and another pretty recently optioned book, is The New World, issue number one. I paid £5.90 for this on eBay. And the premise of this one is The United States of America After the Second Civil War. 
Now in January of 2020, Warner Brothers adapting this property uh, are down to produce this as a film with a writer attached. And now there are only 11,014 copies of this one, so it was a great one to get. Again, we've all got our long boxes filled with uh, speculation and uh, optioned books. I know a lot of them don't see the light of day, but I just like chasing them down. Another optioned book. This time it is Oblivion Song. Issue number one. This is the regular cover. This is pretty much uh, like, uh, apocalyptic where uh, a city is overrun by large creatures. Paid £3.65 for this online. It is not the pink uh, rated variant. But uh, happy to have that all the same. Wouldn't a bad read that one. £3.65 like I said on Forbidden Planet Online. And I hate using them. Up next is another book that was optioned and actually made it the screen. And I thoroughly enjoyed the movie starring Cheryl's Theron. This is the Old Guard issue number one. And this is a great story about people that didn't age. It was a bit like a Highlander sort of story really. Uh, this is the regular Learando Fernandez cover. And I paid just one pound for this. Can you believe? At the car boot in uh, Cheltenham, Southern. And uh, like I say, the, the story really was pretty accurately portrayed on the screen, I thought. That was good. And I think they're making a sequel to that. Up next is another book that was optioned and made it to screen. This is outcast issue number one uh it's just a horror story isn't it from robert kirkman and paul uh Ezeke. and uh this is the first appearance of carl barnes it is the premier issue of a horror series of course published by image comics paid three pounds for this one in worcester again out of this world comic shop if you haven't seen my comic hunting adventures videos check that shop out guys it is a winner trust me i have picked up some brilliant books there up next, this is a book I saw in Forbidden Planet in Bristol in so many grab bags and I could have picked them up for effectively 50p a time. I didn't because I already had it, but uh, at least I've got it. This is Paper Girls, issue number one. This has been optioned and is coming to the screen because some um, actors have been cast already. This is about a group of girls who get caught between two factions of time travellers at war with one another. Paid three quid for this real minty copy in uh, the local antique centre for my friend Lee. Up next, if you're an image fan, I guess you've got to have this one. This is Pit number one and the first full appearance of Pit. Pound for that one. In the Birmingham Con of 2019. Another book option. I think this is another Mark Millar one. This is Prodigy. A recent title this is a six-part series by mark millar that is being produced by netflix supposedly an urban genius cannot find contentment within his cons uh, constant successes which leads him to pursue high risk situations this is the variant from Raphael albuquerque and it is the virgin cover three pound 20 for that i wouldn't a bad read up next we have Another book that was optioned, and I think it was coming from Sandra Bullock, if I'm not mistaken. This is Reborn, issue number one. Again, about uh, an old lady, I think. that uh, An 80-year-old woman dies and is reborn in a fantasy world of magic and monsters. This was a pretty good read. Now, this was in production for Netflix with Sandra, Sandra Bullock, like I said, producing and Chris McKay directing. That was optioned in January of 2019. This is the regular Greg Capullo cover. Five quid for this. I think I've got the third printing lying around somewhere as well. Another book recently talked of for optioned uh, goodness is Redneck issue number one. Paid £7.75 for this on eBay. This is the premier issue of the horror series created by the late, well, late, great, it's not late, it's the great Donny Cates and Leandro uh, Esteren about vampires whose era of peaceful co coexistence alongside humans comes to an end. Must admit, I haven't read this one yet. That cover, though, oh my days. 
Another optioned book, will it ever see the light of day? We don't know, is Roche Limit, issue number one. This was supposedly going to be a TV show. Paid £2.80 for that one. Just an outer space story. My Soul Savage Dragon book next. This is issue 237 and the first appearance of Scourge. I guess it is this guy here. Haven't even opened the book of this one. £3.65 for Bin Planet Online. Don't even know what that's going for now. Just thought it was worth a punt at the time. Up next, it's not a key, but I've got it signed. So it stays in the collection. This is Secret Identities, issue number one. And this is signed by Ilias uh, Kiriasis, who is the cover art and penciler. Uh, if you can see just there, guys. And as I always do, just to verify that, I will show you. There I am again, look. Dazzy doing the rounds. <laughs> I'm always having photos done. Love it. Uh, okay, up next, a recent pickup. This book has always had a bit of option talk to it. Will it ever make the screen? I think it'll cost a lot to bring it. This is Seven to Eternity, issue number one. I picked this one up recently for £5 in the local antique centre. This is the variant Tony Moore cover. The premise is a man must choose between a promise to receive everything he desires or joining a group of sorcerers set out to destroy the God of Whispers. Hmm. Coin flip, I reckon. <laughs> up next, probably my most recent pickup from Image Comics. Optioned again in my top 20 for a couple of weeks. This is Shadecraft issue number one. The dark tones of Demon Slayer and Something is Killing the Children meets a cast of contemporary teen characters. Yes, this girl has a shadow that is very, very naughty, by all accounts. This was optioned in March by Netflix, and uh, this is the regular Lee Garbit cover. I think I paid £4.50 for this, if I'm not mistaken. I had a couple of them, flipped one for some good coin. Up next is another one from Mark Millar that is supposedly coming to the screen as an animated form, wherever it happens. Everything with Mark Millar seems to be an option talk, but not many of them make it. This is Sharky, the Bounty Hunter, issue number one. This is the uh, regular Simone uh, Bianchi colour cover. and uh, Or Bianchi, sorry. And this is a, a sci-fi tale from Mark Millar that is already headed to production about a blue-collar bounty hunter who tracks criminals across the universe in his souped-up rocket-powered ice cream truck. Oh, my days. £1.66 for that in Gloucester. Planet All Stars, that's the regular cover, like I say. And to go with that, I've got the variant from Coral Kershey. I picked that up for 50p in Proud Lion in Cheltenham. That's the big poll number one. Keep them coming, Dazzy. Okay, let's get another option book out there. This was a good story. I like when it comes to like apocalyptic stories, and this was one of those. This is Sheltered, issue number one, which I picked up for £2.50. I've had two or three of these. Grab this in the local antique centre. This is a post-apocalyptic tale of survival against the threat of one's own children. So basically, they're all in like a, a bunker and the kids start killing off the adults. Last man standing sort of thing, or last child standing. And uh, we'll see if that one makes the screen. <laughs> so many option books, who knows. Here's another one. This is six. And uh, this was going to be coming to the screen by the name of 13, and it was going to be a TV show. This is a one-shot science fiction story about a man from another uh, plane of existence studying Earth to uh, determine how to correct what is destroying his reality. Couldn't even read my own writing there. £3.99 for that one. Again, option talk. More option talk here with Sonata, issue number one. Love that cover. Uh, two races clash over a world where they each believe to be their promised land while a young woman seeks to wake the gods of legend that are believed to inhabit the planet. Now, this was optioned in October of 2019. Creator Brian uh, Haberlin posted on his Facebook page that a TV deal is confirmed. But how many times do they confirm it and nothing happens? This is the regular Brian Haberlin and Jared Van Dyke cover. Going to be a TV show by all accounts. £9.85 from eBay of that one. Now we're into some spawn books. 
Oh my days. I had all, all the early issues, but I've sold off a few. But I've kept the keys or what I had. Of course, we start with the big fella. This is Spawn number one. This is the first appearance of Spawn. And this is a book that is, for a mass-produced one, always seems to be in my top 20. Always seems to uh, be going up in price. When I first started doing my top 20, a CGC 9.8 was going for about 120. Now they are going for over 250. Can you believe it? This is the first appearance of Spawn, like I said, Albert Francis, Al Simmons, first appearance of Mel Boglia, Jason Wynn, Wonder Fitzgerald, Sam and Twitch, and uh, there's a bit of a pit in this. There's a second title published by Image Comics and some gorgeous Tom McFarlane artwork. A lot of these characters were in that B-movie Spawn that I've got in my collection. I paid £1.31 for this, minty copy, Carboot Tony delivered the goods. Supposed to be getting another Spawn film with Jeremy Renner attached to Samuel Twitch and Jamie Foxx as uh, Spawn, of course. Up next, Spawn number two. Another £1.31 pickup from Carbu Tony. First appearance of The Violator. It was in the Spawn movie. The second appearance of Spawn. Issue three. Pick this up at the Carbu, probably from Tony. Uh, this is the first appearance of Spawn, uh, third appearance of Spawn, sorry, can't even read my writing, third appearance of Spawn there, pound for that. Issue 5 is the first appearance and death of Billy Kincaid. There is a Spawn mobile poster in this one, pound fifty at the Gloucester Con. Big book next, I've had so many of these over the years, this is Spawn, issue number 9. And the first appearance of Angela, now a Marvel character called Aldrif Austin Stutter. It's also the first appearance of Calistrio, who was in the Spawn movie. The first appearance of Medieval Spawn. Gab first appearance of Gabrielle. There's an Angela poster by Jim Lee in this. And there's a cover homage, of course, to Wonder Woman issue 72. Another minty copy from Carpet Tony, £1.31. Up next, Spawn 13 is the origin of Chapel's disfigurement at the hands of Spawn. There was a Spawn post by Water Simonson in this, pound for this, at Games and Collectibles here in Gloucester. This was a nice pickup, Spawn issue 61. I paid a pound for this at the car boot. I think I picked up two or three of these and flipped them for double figures. This is the first cameo appearance of Jessica Priest, Priest uh, to become the next She Spawn in the th issue 302. Another uh, eBay uh, car boot pickup, sorry. Spawn issue 100. This is where Angela dies. There's a nice Alex Ross cover there. £2.50 at the car boots. This was a lovely little pickup. This is uh, from a, a second hand bookstore in Bristol. This is Spawn issue 183. And uh, the second hand bookshop was called The Last Bookshop. If you're ever in Bristol, check it out. This is the first full appearance of Morana. The miscarried daughter of Al Simmons, who was raised by a demon. That is a stunning cover, and it can go for over 50 quid. I paid a pound for that. Up next, Spawn issue 282. This is a regular uh, Jason Alexander colour cover. I don't think I'll be holding on to this, but I think there was some sort of villain was supposed to be introduced in this book. £2.75 for that in Planet All-Stars and Uh I can't even tell you what number this is. Hmm. Lord only knows, but it's the first appearance of Godsend. This is the variant Francisco Martina Virgin cover. Like I say, first appearance of Godsend. I will have a quick look. Let's have a look. Hmm. You Spawn fans out there will know. 293, I believe. Issue 293. My last Spawn book I'm going to show you is Medieval Spawn and Witchblade, issue number one. This is the first appearance of the Medieval Witchblade. It was Katarina. First appearance of the Dark Queen, who was Eleanor. First appearance of Lord Cardinet and the first appearance of Real. Got that for free, King, when I purchased another book on eBay. Another optioned book, this was meant to be a movie, is Skyward, issue number one. Paid £3.50, or effectively cover for that, in the Proud Lion in Bristol. Just where everything is, like, floating. Simple as that. Up next, we've got Stormwatch issue number one. This is the first appearance of the Stormwatch team and a whole host of first appearances in this. 259 in the Mott House in Stroud. This was a lovely little pickup from uh, Oxfam in Bristol. This is Super Dinosaur issue number one. 
and uh, this is the first appearance of course of the super dinosaur this is the first printing so it's the first appearance of Derek Dynamo and Evil Max Maximus 99 pence for that that can go for 30 40 on a good day I think it was going to be an animated show another great pickup for next to nothing I picked up recently is Tokyo Ghost issue number one just been optioned Paid three quid for this in Excelsior Comics in Bristol. In a tech addicted future, two constab uh, constables charged with enforcing the peace are sent out to the last tech uh, free country in the world. There are just 39,682 copies of this. This was optioned in March of 2021. Kari Fukunaga to direct an adaptation for Legendary. This is the regular Sean Murphy cover. And next, we've got Transhuman issue number one. This was supposed to be in development in April of 2018 for a two-hour drama at Amazon. Premier issue of the four-part miniseries currently being developed by Amazon Studios. 275 for that in November of 2019. And next, another option book is Trees, issue number one. In September 2019, image solicitation confirms it is in development. Uh, is a series that examines the world 10 years after the arrival of massive aliens who exist motionless and without any acknowledgement towards humans just like trees paid two pound 86 for that i've actually sold one or two of them as well first printing up next is another recent option book and this was option before it even come out this is undiscovered country issue number one which i paid 435 for on ebay in search for a cure to an apocalyptic pandemic a group of scientists travel to a region of the united states that has been walled off from the rest of the world for decades this was uh, September 2019, acquired by U Republic Pictures. This is the regular Giuseppe uh, Kamakali cover. Let's get some Walking Dead books going, guys. I've got a, a nice book here, signed. I've won this from the fantastic YouTuber Joker68 in a great competition. This is Walking Dead issue number one. This is the Mike Zek variant. This is the Wizard World Ohio exclusive from 2013. And as you can see, it is signed by Mike Zek. Brilliant book for a freebie. I have to include this one. Walking Dead, number one. Image first. This is the uh, image first fourth printing. Oh, my days. I'd love to get that. I mean, uh, Walking Dead, number one. It's coming down now, though, isn't it, in price? Up next, we have Walking Dead, issue 171. And this is the first appearance of the Princess of Pittsburgh. Uh, I think she's getting her own show, if I'm not mistaken. I actually picked it up because I'm a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. I thought, yeah, well, let's have the princess on board from Pittsburgh. And the princess of Pittsburgh is Joanna, uh, uh, Juanita Sanchez. This is the regular Charlie, Ard, Charlie Adard and Dave Stewart cover. 50p for that in Forbidden Planet. Up next, issue 177. 50p for this in Proud Line in Chatham. This is the first appearance of Mercer. And uh, Mercer is a new character coming into the, one of the Walking Dead shows. It's also the first appearance of Sebastian, the boy who shot Rick Grimes. So I think this book is undervalued. It goes for around about 10 to £15. Pound. Again, a regular Charlie Adard and Dave Stewart cover. That book has been in my top 20. Up next, we've got issue 191. This issue ends on a cliffhanger after Rick Grimes is shot. Uh, point blank range in the chest. Cover price for that in Planet All Stars, Gloucester. You know, he survives all those zombies and then just gets taken out like a. Uh, it was such a bitter. Just a poor finale, I thought. Walking Dead issue 192 is the death of Rick Grimes at the hands of. Was it the, the uh, Sebastian? Yep. And uh, again, the regular cover. Cover price for that. Have to include this book, one of my favourites. This is Walking Dead, issue 192 again, but this is the blank cover, and it comes from my daughter. There we go. There's Rick Grimes. Awesome stuff. And uh, that is signed as well by my daughter. She did this for me on the 27th of uh, January, February, March, April, May, June 2019. There's a lot of blank covers for me. Up next, we've got issue 193. The oversized finale issue. 365 for that. I include this one because I made a hot uh, comic book alert about the work of Brian K. Vaughan. He has struck up a deal. I believe this book could get optioned. This is We Stand on Guard. 
pick this up on eBay. This is the first printing, number one, 225 for that. Another book I've had two or three of is Witches, number one. This is the regular jock cover. A story about witches, funnily enough. And this was a pretty good story. Uh, one of the creepier books you can read. And uh, two quid for that in the Malt House in Tewkesbury. I think that is option for a movie. Then we've got some Young Blood. This is Young Blood issue number one. This is the first appearance of the Young Blood team. Two seventy five for this. Whole host of first appearances in this. Young Blood issue number two, of course, is the first appearance on Origin of the Prophet. It was Jonathan and Tyler Prophet, and Prophet is supposed to be getting his own uh, TV show, if I'm not mistaken, or movie. So it's the first appearance of Shadow Hawk. It was Paul Johnston. And a lot of other first appearances in this book as well. 244. This is the uh, Greg green logo cover. Effectively the first printing. I have effectively the second printing, which is the pink uh, logo. And just to finish up, we've got some Top Cow books, which is an imprint of Image Comics. First up is a book that I've received from my good friend uh, Lyric Magic Moments as an AOK. -okay. This is Midnight Nation. It is an exclusive is a dynamic, uh, dynamic Forces cover, limited to 4,000 copies. It comes with a certificate of, of authenticity. Another book that has just been optioned, I sold one recently. This is Port of Earth, issue number one. Another alien tale. I like alien stories. Up next, another AOK -okay from Lyric Magic Moments is Rising Stars, issue number one. This is the kids playing variant. I think there was talk of this being optioned at one point. So another nice freebie there. Thank you, Lyric. Another book that was optioned talk. There's going to be a TV show. Is Think Tank issue number one. Pick this up for four quid in the local antique centre. This is a, a, a Ranson and Brian Reber cover. And the final book I'm going to show you tonight, guys, is a good one. It is Witchblade. It is my only Witchblade book. It is issue number 10. And this is the first appearance of Jackie Estacado, who becomes Darkness. So it's the first appearance of Bruce Wilder. But it's all about the darkness, and I paid eight quid for this. Probably more than I like to pay, but this is a really hard book to get hold of. And I bought this at the Gloucester Comic Con in 2019. That's it, guys. All done in under 28 minutes. That's a ton of books, ton of option books. Let me know in the comments which ones you had, perhaps, and which ones are your favourites. What's got potential? Most of them have been optioned. <laughs> We've all got boxes of them, haven't we? Thanks for your support. If you like what you see, like and subscribe. All that jazz. Bye.